When working properly, the ram on your trash compactor should lower to compress the trash, then return to its top position, unless the solid or hard pack option has been selected, which will keep the ram in the down position. The failure of the ram to complete these two actions could be an indication that the directional switch is defective. The switch can fail either mechanically or electrically. A damaged actuator arm would indicate a mechanical failure. But in order to determine if there is an electrical failure, the switch will need to be tested for continuity. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the switch you're testing has been removed or isolated from the appliance. A compactor's directional switch is essentially two switches assembled in one housing. In order to properly test the contacts, you need to determine which terminals are for the upper switch and which are for the lower. The upper switch is considered a three-terminal switch. Three terminal switches will have a common terminal, usually designated by the letter COM on the housing, a normally closed terminal labeled NC, and a normally open terminal labeled NO. A normally closed terminal should provide continuity before the switch is actuated, and a normally open terminal should provide continuity after the switch has been actuated. Connect a probe to the common terminal and the second probe to the normally closed terminal. The meter reading should show zero ohms of resistance, indicating the terminals have proper continuity. When you actuate the switch, the continuity should be interrupted. Now keeping the first probe on the common terminal, connect the second probe to the normally open terminal. There should be no continuity until the switch is actuated. The lower switch in the housing is a simple two-terminal switch. Two-terminal switches will either have continuity before the switch is actuated or after. Connect one probe to the lower common terminal and the second probe to the lower NC terminal. The meter should show proper continuity. Actuate the switch and the same two terminals should show no continuity. If a terminal shows no continuity when it should, or tests positive for continuity when it should not, then the switch has failed electrically and will need to be replaced. If both the upper and lower portions of the directional switch pass the test, then the problem with the compactor may be related to a defective motor or gear system.